demon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. <laughs> Bergen wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. Down. Now back to finding Araya. Which means we've got to climb. <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome back once again. Godum here. Demonic Frostclaw down. Control Tower overridden. That was a fun battle. That was pretty cool. I liked that one a lot. Um, one thing that I noticed, though, that is pure, um, pretty curious is if you look at the machine log, he does not show up. We have the control towers, we know. Daemonic machines in general, and then the Scorcher from early on, but he did not show up, and of course he's not one of these, so I do not know, I guess, what the strengths and weaknesses are, although I think we figured it out some, somewhat, so we were able to take him down, but it's really interesting that he's not on this list. Not sure why that is. If you guys happen to know, let me know, because I'd be, I don't know, I'm curious to find out. Um, also, we did receive a couple of mods in that last episode, and I I put this one was interesting. You cannot put this, so this is the drummer's weapon coil. You cannot put this on any and every weapon. Um, there was one of the slings we could do, but not all of the slings. I went ahead and I put it on here because it gives us plus 51 freeze, plus 35 shock, and plus 35 of the corruption. And I think I'm gonna start using this bow because what would be interesting about this is being able to get um, the freeze maybe a little better than the previous bow, a um, little quicker, and we can get from greater distances than we can with the bombs. And you know how I love those, but look at that damage that those weapons are doing right there. Um, also, I went to the outfits and we received a reinforced outfit weave so again could not put this on everything but it made sense here because it gives us more resistance against the range attacks and then we still get some freeze but take a look at that that is just going to make it so much easier when going against those arrows um, but right now i think i still want to stick with i think i still want to stick sorry about that i think i still want to stick with this one because it gives us the uh the slow re the health recovery so that seemed to be although it does not do it during battle so you know during battle it might not be the best of things um also the only thing on here is health so that's why he still has that little marker going there can we i'm just kind of curious what happens if we take you out ready or not Okay, well we got some got some XP for that. That's pretty cool. Um, do I want to run up to the Nah, we're good. Last famous words, we are good. Oh, I did not even in all the chaos, I did not see this painting here. Very cool. Let's start climbing. I should be able to get up there. Heading up to the shrine. Oh, is the shrine going to be a uh, satellite dish? Oh, 
it got peaceful as we got up here. Check that out. Oh, long distance. Nice. Oh, and look at that sun, that radiant sun. The snow has stopped. I am lost. Oh, is this is that a bridge right there, maybe? Oh, more climbing. Here we go. Oh, that music is peaceful. Not scary this at all. This must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Sparkles. I can see why it's worth a lot. Heck yes, we're taking... We only get one blue gleam out of this. All of this, we only get one? That's a bummer. Naltuk said Aurea went past the shrine, up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. Yeah, he did say she goes further past. Oh, this must have been... Alright, so that must have been whatever controls the, uh, the satellites. The control room, I guess. An ancient door. Maybe Aurea's inside. It is a frozen retreat. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair, oh boy, I should just go to bed. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, working on Project Firebreak, I think that's what he said. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? I think that's what we're going to find out. Hopefully, well, I think, again, I think it's the control room for the uh, satellite dishes outside. Okay, all right, so that's, we have that door. And then we have, uh-oh. <laughs> of course. This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. Oh, that guy just sounds annoying, does he not? That's the dude you hate working with. <laughs> that is for sure. I do not see any more data points, but it looks like there might have been something back here. Oh, is this on the other side of the door? Uh, maybe not. Because I'm not seeing a door there. All right, we do have a data point. That looks like there could be a hologram up in there. All right, let's check it out. Let's start. Director of Security Blevins is writing us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Okay, these are pretty short, and it seems like there is 
some not friendly attitudes going on. The door again. All right. Okay, I've been hearing that some of our staff members are having trouble with our state-of-the-art, ultra-secure, and absolutely necessary lamp lambent <laughs> or orbicular door access. So here's the S-L-O-W slow version again. The thing in the middle is the source node. Turn it on. Yeah, I know. Hard, right? Uh, then you've got to turn the other node so that the data stream containing your credentials gets back to the source. Some nodes are used to buffer corrupt or suspect data, so avoid those. Shouldn't be too tough because you know they're red, like a stop sign. I'm guessing you were taught this in preschool, but with this crowd, who knows? Anything that's any anyway, that's it. Get the data stream back to the source and the door opens. It's really not that tough, but if you need me to, I'll hold your hand while you give it a try, actually. Scratch that. Do it yourself. I'm not going to touch your hand. Yeah, it sounds like there is some infighting, some pettiness, maybe just uh, you know being around people too long, the same groups of the same people too long, isolated. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, is this the door? Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Wait, the door. Wait, the the red door, right? I did. You know what I did not do. You're sticking out. Okay, but well, there's nothing there. I did not scan that door to see where it was. Oh, maybe this is. Okay. Let's get up, see what we can do. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? Reroute data flow. Okay, so this is very similar to the dam. The dam, dam. Turn clockwise. These things turn, changing the flow of light. Oh, wrong way. All right, let's see if the door's open. That noise was kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. All right, that must not be the door door. Okay, let's get back into here and get back out to that bunker door. Hopefully that's what did it. So that one's a little different, All right, that's pretty cool. Yep. That was it. That's where we just were. Back off, back off, back off. I'm scared. Should she not be sensing that we're here? So we're climbing up. That did not look like that was that high when I just looked up. What, what, what am I missing? <laughs> it did not look that high at all. Go jumping into the unknown, Aloy. Do not do it. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. Is that a landing pad? I think that's what that might be. I never did get that last campfire, did I? 
seeing a trend. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Nothing over there, okay. Oh no. <laughs> That's another one where I, so I swear they play games with you where it looks like it's... I mean, she's made jumps bigger than that. But midway, it just kind of pauses her and then it makes you think you're not going to make it. And then, sure enough. Grab you. somewhere. Stage two complete. To YNPF all. Not sure if I know what YNPF is at this point. On December 23rd, 2046, so just a couple days before Christmas. First stage of main facility complete. Attention all staff. It's with pride that I announced the completion of the first level of infrastructure on our primary facility. This compound will be the nerve center for our project and require the team's continued best efforts to realize by the deadline. But even though there is much more to be done, you should be pleased with all you've accomplished so far. Please find attached a detailed plan for mustering out the auxiliary space, which will serve as a contingency site as we proceed with the main facility. 90% of our personnel must be relocated by 5 p.m. Wednesday. If your name does not appear on the assignment list, please email Marissa with me in CC. Your dedicated talent and intelligence remain daily sources of inspiration. Dr. Kenny Chow, Project Director. Wait, is that? No. Did not see you almost. Looks like a changing room. You know, it'd be cool to have a stick or something that has those on it as a kind of like a flashlight or a, uh, you know, a fire to give us some light. We'll be with you in a moment. Menu prank. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. If I'm not mistaken, I think Blevins was the guy that was... Not very cool. Right, nothing back there. Another door. again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah! I can't help you if you won't speak! Whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I. 
I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Oh, can she not access the data points also? What is that? And she is burdened, man. Burdened. The pressure of trying to save her people. Goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. And not only that, but she came through the first door, did she not? So why could she not figure this one out unless it's just a matter of this one is going to be tough and it might take me an hour. Let's go and see what this is. Security measures. Anita, as much as I hate the fact that Blevins installed lambent orbicular technology on the lower security door, I admit that for the auxiliary data center, it makes sense, especially given our goals for the central processing unit. I'm sure you're painfully familiar with the process by now, but just in case you need to forward instructions to your team to access the system, activate the source node in the middle, then manipulate the other nodes to direct the data stream with your credentials back to the center. Make sure to avoid the red nodes. They're used to isolate any corrupt or suspect data. I'm sure someday you'll thank Blevins for making our work so very, very secure. Kenny. Yeah, I don't know about that one, but okay. So it was just basically tell us the same thing over again. All right, so the light starts here. Right? We have a path there. There's only one red. This, why does this seem like it's a lot easier than what it obviously is going to be? Yeah, I went the wrong way. That's what, that's what happened there. I mean, can I not just, no, it does not go there. Okay. Oh, well, of course that makes sense as to why. What happens if I do, no. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So we have to go over here. Oh, can I not just... Do that? But it has to go directly into there. Okay, I see. I got you. I got you. Let's get you over here. Oh, it does not go. Oh, that's why. So at best it does that, which is not gonna help. So we went the wrong direction already. I believe that's gonna be the case. So let's bring you over this way. No, that's not gonna be a thing. So this, what if I change this? Let's give this path a try. It does get you over there. See, I can't go to the red though. So that's a dead end. To see what happens. I know it's not gonna work, but yeah. Okay, so that that doesn't seem to work either. Let's try this path again. So I think this is just putting me right back. No, how did I not? How did I not do that the first time? What did I do? Uh, 
and that gets you up into here. And I, oh, can we not do, that gets you there. There, and then will this get us back to the center? Seems to me that should be working. What am I missing? So light's going all the way around. Hits you. It goes back. Oh, do I need to turn you? No. Why is that not working? It doesn't seem to be going all the way. Is it too far? Get closer. But I think I'd rather... No, I can't. Can't turn that again, so that brings me up here. Maybe it did something. I saw that light up and thought that might have been something. There we go. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. No, I will not submit. Orea, the day is forcing me. Orea, You brought the spirit's voice back. Did that not almost, I mean, maybe it's, I'm thinking just because it was a sphere. It almost looked like, um, Hades. Come. We need to talk. I agree. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far... I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. All right, we have a lot of info to receive here. Silence. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave. When that name is spoken, secrets soon will follow or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. I get it. Um, yeah, I get it. All right, spirit. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drift, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. 
But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. Again, did she not come through the same door? What did the spirit want from you? She said she was hurt, incomplete. She needed bones, parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum, so I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. So obviously, who is the spirit? And just throwing out ideas, I don't... Could it be Gaia or Elizabeth? I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, we want to... What? Is, yeah, well, there you go. What is, what is the spirit? Aurea... What do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of moonlight. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand, but I want to. That's all I need. So it does kind of sound a little bit like um, Mother Nature, which Gaia was an AI Mother Nature. I did not notice this did not go gray. Actually, I did kind of notice it earlier, um, but I thought it was just me. But now that I see this one, let's see if she has anything more else to say about silence. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Okay, all right, that's fine. All right, and the daemon. The daemon, what do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times, first here, then inside Thunder's drum, the last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. Oh, you know what? I did not pay attention to the, what the voice sounded like, who it was when we did the door. I didn't pay attention. Oh, man. All right. What kept you from the spirit after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratok called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. 
We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. All right, so Thunderstorm, which is the volcano, right? Um, once was a door and then all of a sudden it was closed, not able to access and there were machines there. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just trying to maybe piece this together and also how it may relate to the main story. Um, just not quite there yet. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. When you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain. Thunder's drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. An Aratak couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakui. If you help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful.